Hi everybody, we are in Koh Tao, Thailand, which is a small island. Today I start my open water scuba diving certification. Not only am I starting this three day certification, but this will also be my first time ever scuba diving. So stick around for this video as I learn how to scuba dive from the ground up, giving me a whole new appreciation for the ocean and everything in it. On our way walking to the first day of our scuba certification, or my scuba certification, and I'm kind of nervous. It's kind of like uh, like the first day of school, where you're like, I wonder who's going to be in my class. I've never done this before. So I'm a little bit nervous. So is Meg, because it's been a while since she's dove. It's been almost 10 years. 10 years, wow. Anyway. Nine. It's like been exactly nine. Excited, but also a little bit nervous for the first day. Here we go. Day one recap, here we go. I should probably mention to start, Mosquito, killed it. I should probably mention to start that the diving company that we are doing this certification with is called DPM Diving. Now, we started off our day at about nine o'clock and we had some classroom work. Going back to the normal position, okay? Just like basic knowledge, going over like the equipment and such, which was really helpful to kind of just get a good understanding before you're pressured by like water and the ocean and such. And then at 11.45, we hopped on the boat and we were basically diving until like 4.30. We did two separate dives. First dive done, went really, really well. I was super nervous at first, but it was no problem. We did like a bunch of skill work and then we dove to four meters. I know, right? But a bunch of skill work done. Wow, a bunch of skill work done and first dive technically done. We were about in the water for like an hour and a half, which felt pretty so long. So we were only in like uh, one meter of water. So like four, three or four feet deep. So you could basically just stand up if you wanted to. But we went over all these different drills. Like if your um, breathing thing, what's that thing called? Your BC? No, your- Regulator. If your regulator is like not working or something like that, which personally, being that this is my first time diving was really, really helpful. I feel like you could probably bypass this if you're just gonna go dive for like a day, but this really helps you get a good understanding just in case something does happen, especially like the goggles one. Um, if you get water in your goggles, you learn how to get that out and all that good stuff. So that was the first dive. And then we went out for our second dive. Our second dive was about 45 minutes and this one was like a legit dive. It was amazing to actually get quite a bit below the surface. I think we got up to 11 meters, which I don't know how much that is in feet. I think that's like, I will say that I definitely did not give Koh Tao enough respect as far as like its beauty. We came here obviously just to do the open water certification and that was kind of the main reason. We just heard that was really cheap. We didn't necessarily hear about, you know, the actual diving itself. And let me tell you, this water is insanely blue. Now, obviously I don't have anything to compare it to, but it is so clear. Like when you're standing on the boat, you can see the bottom, you can see the fish and there's fish everywhere. We saw so many different fish, saw a couple stingray. Meg, do you have anything that you want to say after your first day? Yeah, I was a little nervous just cause it's been a while. And then we started diving and like I got my breathing and buoyancy under control and it was, saw a lot of fish went through, we went through like this uh, hole to dive through. But for now, that is it for today. We're gonna go grab some food and just enjoy this island, maybe watch the sunset as well. Walk into day two of scuba certification. I'm we, not scuba diving today. It's just gonna be me today. I'm going solo. Meg's, Meg's leaving me. She's gonna do her own stuff, but I have my second day of my certification. We had a nice breakfast. We have another beautiful morning to walk to the dive center. 
and it's gonna be another great day. So here we go. If you go to the table number one, yes? Here we have dev, we're gonna use meters, yes? So I just dropped Ian off at his day two scuba certification and I decided to find myself a nice little coffee spot and it's nice. I wish I was with him scuba diving today. I'd be lying if I said I didn't miss him a little bit considering this is the first day we've been apart since we've started traveling, so two months. And uh, yeah, but I'm excited for him and I'm excited to explore a little on my own today. Dropped off our laundry this morning, walking down the street. There it is. That's my underwear hanging outside right on the street. Nice. Day two of my certification is done. It was very similar to day one. Schedule was almost the same. We had a little classroom to start. We learned about different um, issues you can run into with um, not following the three rules of diving. Once we were done with classroom, we had the same uh, diving schedule and we had two dives in the afternoon. Today was awesome because I felt way more comfortable under the water. Our first dive, we still had some skill work. So we practiced that and then we just dove. The second dive today was amazing. I think we got to a similar depth, about 11 meters, which was similar to yesterday. Today, I felt like I was able to take in the wildlife a lot more. I'm really kind of bummed because it's super hard to film this stuff, being that I'm trying to stay really focused and dialed in, as well as like, I'm like, it's just hard to film when you're taking the course. So I got a little bit of footage today. Hopefully tomorrow I'll get even a little bit more footage. But anyway, hopefully you're, hopefully with the footage that I got, you're still able to see the blue water. It is amazing. Um, there's fish everywhere. It is just amazing. Anyway, day two is done. Tomorrow, we are starting bright and early. We have our first dive at 6 a.m. So I gotta get some food tonight. I gotta get recovered. And the fun part is, is Meg is joining me again tomorrow. So. Both of us will be diving tomorrow at 6 a.m. New place. Hopefully, um, we're going to see some cool wildlife, and hopefully, I can get some more footage for you. On our way to day three of scuba diving, last day of the certification. This morning's walk is a little bit different because it's super dark out and it's raining, but Meg is with me today. So, you might be wondering, Ian, why are you not scuba diving? Why is there no footage of scuba diving? Well, today did not go as planned, as Meg can attest to. This morning, woke up with a little bit of stomach issue. I'll save you, I'll save you from the details. But anyway, I got to the boat and I was like, this is just not gonna go well today with how my stomach is feeling. So if I've learned anything over the last two days of diving, is that one of the main rules and keys is to, you know, pay attention to your body. And my body was telling me to not go diving today. So that was kind of unfortunate, but also fortunately, Bomber, my diving instructor, is super accommodating and we are going to go tomorrow. So anyways, this video will pick up tomorrow with the actual juicy stuff. Although today I was actually able to take my written test it was like 50 questions um, I passed, which was awesome. So that feels good, but we'll pick up my last two dives. Day three for real this time. Let's go. There's the group. There's Meg. Feel better today.
we saw a turtle. Officially a certified open water diver. We saw some amazing things today. Meg, what did we see? On our first dive, we saw a green turtle. It was like a little guy, but he was so cute. And he had these like sucker fish, I forget what they were called, something on him, which was amazing. And then dive two, it's gotta be my, my favorite moment, scuba diving ever, which was we swam like into this huge school of barracuda and they were circling us. And it was just like, I could have sat there for hours. It was yeah. so cool. Hey, good luck today. Yeah, you Thank start, you. you're advanced, right? Yeah. Have fun. Have fun. Yeah, so we w we were diving around the shipwreck, which was from- Also very cool. Which was from World War II, and that's where we saw the Barracuda. Amazing. U.S. Navy ship. Yeah, U.S. Navy ship. So my di the dives today were probably my favorite dives. With that being said, I would highly recommend DPM diving. They're very, very good, just nice people, and they know what they're doing, obviously. And we may have just got invited to uh, one of their barbecues. An Argentinian barbecue. Which, because most of them are from Argentina. I apologize for the lack of footage, but hopefully this was still an enjoyable video for you. We are out. We'll see you in the next video. Things on bread. Come on, stand out of there.